66 million years ago, a nine-mile-wide asteroid landed just north of the Yucatan Peninsula in the Gulf of Mexico. Now known as the Chicxulub asteroid, it wiped out non-flying dinosaurs from the face of the Earth and marked the end of the Mesozoic era. Today, we are faced with a similar fate as a potentially world-ending asteroid approaches the Earth. Welcome to the channel, guys. In today's video, we will be discussing killer asteroids and answering the question, what are our best defenses against these asteroids? Do we even have defenses against killer asteroids? Stick with us to the end to find out. On 15 February 2013, residents of the Chelyabinsk Oblast in Russia witnessed a bright light streaking across the sky. It was a strange sight, and some people recorded the event on their cell phones. Little did they know what they were about to witness was awe-inspiring but petrifying history. A few minutes after the meteor was spotted, it burned up and exploded 18 miles in the air. For a moment, the 20-meter meteor was brighter than the sun as it exploded. The explosion is estimated to have released the same amount of energy as 500 kilotons of TNT, around 30 times more energy than the atomic bomb detonated at Hiroshima. Fortunately, the explosion happened high enough off the ground that its energy was mostly absorbed into the atmosphere. If it had happened any lower, or if the asteroid had hit the ground intact, the damage could have been unlike anything in human history. The Chelyabinsk meteor is the second largest meteor to have ever entered Earth, and the meteor with the largest number of injuries sustained. The shockwave that followed the explosion traveled through the atmosphere and reached the ground, damaging 7,200 buildings across six cities and sending 1,500 people to local hospitals and clinics with injuries. Most people saw the bright flash first and went to their windows to look outside. The shockwave, traveling at a slower speed, arrived later and shattered the windows, injuring people with flying glass. The most unsettling thing about the Chelyabinsk meteor is that it went undetected until after it had entered the Earth's atmosphere. Another meteor, the 18-mile 367943 Duende, had been predicted to reach the Earth that same day and entered the planet's atmosphere 16 hours later. There were no casualties because the meteor had exploded before hitting the Earth and all the injuries were indirect effects of the explosion, from flying glass to shattered objects. Yet, 1,500 people across six cities took a trip to the hospital. Could you imagine the destruction if it had crashed into the Earth? The dinosaurs would tell that story better. In the annals of Earth's history, one event stands out as a cataclysmic turning point, the extinction of the dinosaurs. While many theories have been proposed over the years, one that stands out as the most widely accepted explanation is the impact of a colossal asteroid, now known as the Chicxulub impactor. The theory of an asteroid impact causing the dinosaur extinction was first proposed by Luis Alvarez, his son Walter Alvarez, Frank Asaro, and Helen Michael in 1980. Their groundbreaking hypothesis was built upon a unique discovery, a layer of sediment found in various locations around the world that contained unusually high levels of the element iridium. Iridium is rare in Earth's crust, but is commonly found in meteorites. This iridium-enriched layer, referred to as the Cretaceous-Paleogene boundary, dated to approximately 66 million years ago, coinciding with the time when dinosaurs mysteriously disappeared from the fossil record. The catastrophic event that led to the demise of the dinosaurs occurred approximately 66 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period. The impact site is located in what is now the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. 
The asteroid that struck Earth at this location was of massive proportions, estimated to be about 15 kilometers in diameter. This colossal impactor unleashed an unimaginable amount of energy upon impact, equivalent to 22 to 33 times the energy released by the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The consequences of this cosmic collision would be felt worldwide. When the asteroid struck, it created a massive crater, now known as the Chicxulub Crater, with a diameter of approximately 72 miles and a depth of 11 miles. The initial impact caused intense earthquakes, tsunamis and massive fires. The energy released upon impact led to the ignition of forests and plant life within a vast radius of the impact site. The resulting firestorms caused significant disruption to the global ecosystem, releasing massive amounts of soot, ash and greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Despite its initial global devastation, it was the long-term effects of the impact that ultimately led to the extinction of the dinosaurs. The impact had long-lasting effects on the Earth's climate. The massive release of soot and ash into the atmosphere blocked sunlight, causing a nuclear winter effect. Quite simply, it means that there was no sunlight, which meant no heat. Without sunlight, plants could not survive. And without photosynthetic organisms, entire ecosystems were destroyed. It also released a large amount of sulfur compounds into the atmosphere, leading to the formation of acid rain. This acid rain further harmed terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems, damaging vegetation and aquatic life. It is difficult for us to truly understand how devastating the impact of the Chicxulub asteroid was. The idea of tsunamis of lava rushing towards you is nearly impossible to visualize, but it was a reality for the dinosaurs. Unfortunately, famous astronomer Neil deGrasse believes we might face a similar extinction level threat in the future. Hey spacers, while you take a moment of silence for the dinosaurs, please hit the subscribe button to join us on our space trips and hit the bell to be notified of new and awesome space stuff. And now, meet Apophis. According to celebrity astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, we should be worried about asteroids. Why? Because one is heading our way. Apophis is an S-type asteroid named after the Egyptian god of death. It may be a bit much, but when you consider that it is on a path to Earth and could obliterate the US West Coast, it seems the name suits it just well. Tyson fears it could do trillions worth of damage and its after-effects would be costlier. Apophis was first discovered in 2004 and immediately put on NASA's list of the most hazardous asteroids that could collide with Earth. Estimated to be about 1,100 feet across, Apophis quickly gained notoriety as a planet destroyer when astronomers predicted its close flyby in 2029. However, the assessment changed when astronomers closely tracked the asteroid and its orbit during its distant flyby of Earth around March 5, 2021. Making use of the opportunity, astronomers took the opportunity to use powerful radar observations to re-evaluate the estimate of its orbit around the Sun with extreme precision. Fortunately, while its first close encounter with Earth doesn't pose any serious threat, it will be a different asteroid game when Apophis circles by again on April 13, 2036. One calculation has the asteroid striking ground just off the coast of Southern California. If that were to happen, the asteroid would dive into the Pacific Ocean, triggering a series of tsunamis. In that case, Tyson's fears might just come true. With such an ominous threat looming, do we have a chance of survival? What defenses does Earth have against killer asteroids? Kinetic diversion might sound like an elaborate way to describe smashing one object into another, but it's a concept that holds immense potential. Scientists propose employing kinetic diversion to intercept an approaching asteroid, 
hoping that the change in momentum resulting from the collision will be adequate to alter the asteroid's course and prevent a cosmic rendezvous with Earth. Considered one of the most mature and effective defense strategies, kinetic diversion was unintentionally demonstrated during the Deep Impact Space Probe mission in 2005. The Deep Impact mission intentionally collided a 370 kilogram probe with the comet Temple 1, yielding an impact equivalent to approximately 4.8 tons of TNT. This collision, surprisingly, altered the comet's trajectory by an estimated 30 feet in its orbit around the Sun. The European Space Agency is actively planning the ADA mission, scheduled for launch in 2021, to validate the feasibility of this approach. The mission will involve an impactor targeting the asteroid 65803 Didymos, intending to measure the asteroid's change in momentum following the collision. This knowledge will be invaluable in the event we need to develop such a device to divert an asteroid on a collision course with Earth. When faced with an impending asteroid threat, the knee-jerk reaction might be to nuke the thing. However, the gravity tractor presents a more subtle and ingenious solution, relying solely on Newton's principles of gravity to gently guide an asteroid away from Earth's path. The concept involves launching a heavy, unmanned satellite to orbit the incoming asteroid. The gravitational attraction between the spacecraft and the asteroid causes them to gradually draw nearer. Over several years, this interaction could provide enough of a trajectory shift to safely redirect the asteroid away from Earth. While it may not be the stuff of Hollywood blockbusters, this defense approach capitalizes on the fundamental laws of gravity. Its only limitation is the requirement for substantial warning measured in years for the plan to be effective. In cases where all other options fall short and an asteroid impact appears imminent, the last ditch Michael Bay style defense is the use of a massive nuclear bomb. Yet, nuking an asteroid isn't as simple as punching in coordinates and launching a salvo of missiles. Most asteroids capable of causing an extinction level event, those over one kilometer in diameter, are unlikely to be obliterated by conventional nuclear warheads. Moreover, this approach carries the very real risk of breaking one large asteroid into multiple pieces, each still posing a threat to Earth. In 1995, Edward Teller, the American scientist known as the father of the hydrogen bomb, proposed the development of a one gigaton nuclear device weighing 25 to 30 tons. This colossal weapon would be carried into space by Russia's Energia rocket with the mission to obliterate any asteroid less than one kilometer wide and deflect any up to 10 kilometer in diameter. Teller's scheme was designed as a final resort to be used when we had less than a year's warning before a potential collision. However, it remains uncertain whether the US or Russia has pursued the creation of such an immense nuclear weapon. Regrettably, asteroid defense has received limited attention from world leaders and the scientific community at large. Developing any of these solutions would demand substantial investments running into billions of dollars, along with multi-year commitments from governments. Hence, we may only discover the effectiveness of these options when the day arrives when they are needed. Asteroid defense is like buying flood insurance. It's often only appreciated when the hurricane is already on the horizon. Hopefully, when the time comes, it won't be too late for us. Hey spacers, how's that for a rock shower? If you loved this video and want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell to be notified of new and awesome space content. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.